Hi, and welcome to a video about fixing TZE tapes. Let's take a look at this functional cassette. On the right side, we see the white ribbon, and in the middle part, we see the black ribbon. Now let's take a look at a broken cassette. Here we can see how the right side is actually missing the white background ribbon, although the black ribbon seems to be intact. It only seems that way, though. The first step was we're going to open up this cassette. The cassette is glued together, so it takes this thin uh, metallic tool. Uh, I take it from the um, tool set by iFixit, and I have to insert it just here below the uh, crack line and use a little bit of force to kind of pry it open. Of course, this will take cutting off the label a little bit. And it can be a little bit of tricky to do it at first. Here, this is a little bit sped up. after going through all the sites and of course the front part, part I can finally lift up the lid slowly so that all the internal pieces don't just jump out at me first of all I'm going to take off this uh, cover from the background tape it's just a piece of uh, plastic to prevent it from sticking to the top part and as you can see, this tape is almost reaching to the right place, but there's a, a bit of tear going down with the uh, um, paint ribbon, so that all needs to be adjusted. First of all, we're going to have to pull some stuff out and remove this, this reel. This is the uh, receiver reel for the tape. This on the left is the source reel for the ribbon and once I pull it out you can see how it's stuck to the background spool here I'm moving aside the non-stick guiding and cutting off the bad piece of tape and I also need to snap it off the source ribbon and collector spool so all this goes away, it's trash. And now I'm going to use just regular tape to connect these two back together. Here we can see how the um, used spool has the letters on them. Now I'm going to take a little bit of uh, scotch tape, just a small piece is enough. and glue these two together. It's important to remember to keep the original side to the original side, not, as in not to reverse the tape itself. Nope, it's stuck to my hand. Now, of course, I'm just going to reel that um, excessive tape into the receptacle spool. I'm going to put back this uh, piece of plastic here that is goes just right next to the background um, tape because it's sticky and this prevents it from getting stuck into the internal components. So this has to go in there. And now I take the background ribbon And I need to run it just behind this wheel, which is non-stick, it's made of Teflon. And over this control wheel. And it's kind of delicate, so I need to take it and slip it right into this 
edge here, which is what keeps it in place from sticking to the top part before it should. And I'm going to pull out just a little bit extra here to give myself some room to work. Now I need to put the spools back into place and channel the ribbon in the right way. So this is the collection spool and it goes on the bottom there. And I'm going to route the ribbon through the channel carefully because that ribbon is pretty pretty gentle, pretty soft. And of course it has to be kept in the right direction. So as you can see this goes through the channel right behind there. Problem here is that the um, cover tape is what's going to block my access to the full channel. So I'm going to take a little bit of scotch tape and tape it temporarily backwards so it's kind of out of the way. And now this gives me better access to route the, the ribbon through this channel here. And then the second channel. And as you can see, I'm struggling with this a little bit because again, this ribbon is real, this ribbon really, really soft, really gentle. Putting it right back on the original spool. And it's giving me a little bit of a hard time. And again, I'm trying to put the spool back into place and it keeps jumping out. If I had three hands, it would have been a lot easier. Every time I put it in place, it keeps jumping off the reel. So now it finally went down in the channel and I'm pulling it a little bit so I can spool it back around the original source wheel, source spool. And finally, the ribbon is in its place. And now I'm going to use the collection spool to stretch this a little bit and make it all taunt and nice as it's supposed to be. So now we have the background spool in place, the ink spool and film all correct. And now I can release the cover tape, which is transparent. And it's going to go just above the ribbon. I'm tightening this again. And now I'm releasing the tape, discarding this piece of duct of scotch tape that I don't need.
and now the cover is going to go right here and it sticks to the bottom reel to the white reel as it should be and goes into the slot there putting back the plastic and putting back the top gently I need to be to make sure that when I put the stuff on top it doesn't pinch and damage either of the other ribbons or, or spools that's pretty tricky do it carefully and slow Now I can pull some more out. I'm gonna cut it to make sure it fits into the machine. And I'm done. Let's put it in the device to test it. All good.